hi you guys welcome back to the channel it is your girl colors and i'm back with another video the thing is let's have a conversation so if you can see from this title i am doing uh like a grocery haul situation i thought it would be really cool to start getting into filming my whole budgeting and grocery hauls and what i got because me and david recently if you seen my last video you know, we talked about how we do weekly budget situations just like a lot of other people we have debt we have a current budget that we came up with for our groceries and that is $650 a month the crazy thing is it was actually much higher than that and we're kind of trying to see if that budget even works but I'm tired of seeing y'all all these hauls and all these other hauls and y'all seem to be doing it for way less than that but what sparked this video is because about two weeks ago I used $400 of that budget I think I could put some screenshots here of the stuff that I got and let's say all of it is almost gone and it's only been two weeks. That made me start to think more strategically and more strategic is it caused me to look deeper into Aldi. Now I've been to Aldi very very recently looking at the prices of things and it seemed like they had some good prices. So I think for the first time I'm gonna do a real grocery haul at Aldi's but this whole inflation thing and prices have made your girl revert back to going to the hood, okay? I am going to be going to the hood meat market today. I only got $200. We're going to get some meat. And then we're going to try to get the rest from Aldi. You want to say bye to the people? Can't even see you. Can you say bye? I guess not. <laughs> he said bye. So the thing is, I already know that I'm doing this in the worst order as possible. I did not have a, a shopping list. I kind of made one in Aldi, but... And I do not have a meal plan idea. So if I don't do very well, it's, it's surely because of that. <laughs> used to live over here in this area they knocked it all down but when I say I used to stay in the hood it was this area where there used to be these apartments called Tampa Park and there was these they call them the projects but they're not there no more it used to be Central Park yeah this is the memories I have growing up in this area And it's right next to Ybor City too. When they be talking about the prostitutes in Tampa, walking up and down Nebraska, or they're talking about the people on drugs and things like that, that's, this is the street that they're talking about. <laughs> Y'all, I just arrived over here. I don't know if anything just happened, but there's a news reporter right here, which isn't a good sign. Let me try to get in and get out of here, child. <laughs> and this is the meat market. All right, first of all, shout outs to the other YouTubers who's not afraid of people watching them record in these stores. How are y'all doing this? That seems like the most awkward thing to me, but 2024, I gotta get out of that. Anyway, this is kind of what the meat section typically looks like in the meat store and they'll have like family plans and some of the sales as you can see here they have like it well maybe well they maybe you can't see because i'm all over the place okay so this is what the meat section looks like so i told him that i wanted some chicken legs some turkey necks and some pork chops and this is me going around other sections of the store just kind of seeing what's going on a little bit i did end up seeing these sun-dried uh, or dehydrated kiwis then i just decided to go over to the little meat packet section and see what that was looking like now if you ever see any meat in these vacuum packs and it's this super bright red color 
that does not mean that it's fresh it just has that chemical called myoglobin pumped inside of it to make it look more attractive for people to buy it when you have fresh meat meat naturally turns brown so it is actually the same chemical that is inside of steak that is actually the protein gushing out of the steak so the next time that you see someone eating a steak just know it's not blood all right y'all so i'm officially back in the car and it's not as crazy as it used to be <laughs> i just came out of the store store is right there and um i ended up spending about can y'all see this i probably can't right there at the bottom that is 32 dollars I ended up spending $32 there. And oh, I wanna show y'all. Every single time I go here, I have to get one of these. If y'all like Spanish, y'all probably already know what these is. I think they're just little ice creams, but it's just so good, so pure, so everything. And I eat these every single time I go to a Latin market, but especially when I come here, I have to get one of these. Then I see one of these things. Where is it? I also seen in that freezer, which I never seen before, is this right here. This is, it says, I don't know Spanish, Fiesta tap, Tapaetas, Tapetas. I don't know, it seemed all right. It says Mango Nada, Mango Nada. Y'all Spanish folks, let me know if I got it. I'm feeling pretty confident on that one. It says Mango and ch Chamoy. Mango and chamoy. Y'all can do it! And I seen this in there. It's pretty frozen now and it has one of these little sticks at the top. This was, this was $3.29. I don't know. I felt like it was my only chance to try something like this. I never tried nothing like that. So I'm going to try that. But I'm gonna, let's get back home. Oh, not even home. We got to go to all these. Let's get to all these. Okay, my first time doing this. Let's see. Put it in there and pull back. Oh shit. Embarrassing. Okay. I have to go out. Alright, do I want to get these? All right, so as you can see, I am officially back from the grocery haul, from the meat market and all these. It is obviously pretty late, actually way later, it's eight o'clock. I was in there for like an hour and a half. After I came back from all these, I had to go pick up the girls and then I just got them situated and we just got everything in the house. Dave's actually here too, say hey. Hey. <laughs> I spent $151 in all these and then I also spent $32 inside of the meat market as I did show y'all. So I'm pretty happy with everything. I purposely left a little room in the budget because I didn't come out like I told you before with a game plan on what I wanted to cook because I didn't know what I had. So I wanted some room to get some sauces and stuff for the meat if I wanted to make it like stew or smothered or whatever. I wanted to make sure I get a little room to get those things. But overall, I think we did pretty good. So let's take a look at what I got. 11 cans of cat food. I also got some of this roasted chicken. Uh, 
rice i mainly got this for david i also got this 90 second basmati usually i get the minute rice cups that has been my new go-to because i'm not the best person to make rice david's actually better at making rice than me so yeah got that i also got just some pepperonis i started recently making quesadilla pizza things for the girls so I put this in it, but while I was there, I did get these little pizza crusts. So I felt like this could be a cheaper alternative than what we usually do at Sam's Club. It comes with three slices. I, I'm guessing that you just bake it. I'm not really sure, but it says it includes the sauce packets. So I also got that for that as well. Got some cheese dips for the girls' uh, snack time for school. I've been seeing these all over TikTok, really, so I thought I just should try just for the sake of that. I also got this because I wanted to try to make some homemade tortilla chip. I also seen this cheat, this hummus wheel. I thought this was pretty good. It has classic. I really wanted the roasted red pepper one. That's the main reason why I got it. I also ended up getting some non-fat Greek yogurt. I want to also put this as a snack for the girls and some of this sandwich skinny. I wanted to have like a quick sandwich situation and the calories on this is pretty good. It's only 110 calories per sandwich and I thought this would be good for David as well for work so I got those. And I got two loaves of bread because the girls are into a grilled cheese craze right now. I got some instant coffee because I wanted to make some whipped coffee. Really wanted to grab more of these, but this was the only one left. But this is also for their snacks. As well as these little snack select things. I thought this would be a good alternative for their snack time as well. It comes with cheese and the little sausages like that. And I got two different kinds. I got the mild cheddar with beef sausage and this one is cheddar cheese with a uh, honey brown sugar turkey sausage. I also got some bananas, two spaghetti squash. I wanted to try this half and half for my coffee to see if I see a difference between this and milk. And this is a little cheaper. Um, also got the caramel macchiato. I want to try all these brands. Trying their uh, lactose milk out as well. I'm getting old. Lactose intolerant all of a sudden. I was really surprised on how cheap this was. This was only $2 and something cents. I got some chocolate milk back here for the girls. That was $1.71. That was amazing. So heavy whipping cream. Also the attempt to make some cold foam. I got two of these shredded lettuce for my sandwiches as well as just to eat. As you can see way over here I have a lot of cheese. I have two of these stacks of singles of cheese for the grilled cheese sandwiches. I also use cheese a lot whether I'm cooking like for breakfast with eggs or things like that. I use cheese. I got them string cheese for their um, snack time at school as well as mozzarella cheese for the pizza that I'll make them between the quesadilla and the pizza crust here. I also got some provolone because this is also another good uh, cheese to have with like when you make homemade paninis. So I have these great cucumbers. I got some freezer bags for my meat. I have to separate them which I'm going to do tonight. Two boxes of Capri Suns. This is another thing that I've seen a lot on TikTok and I thought I'll give it a try because we usually get the Sam's Club one. And that is getting really expensive. Uh, from the meat market, I got some sasson. Gotta have sasson. The lunch meat for the sandwiches. I did get some bacon as well. Oh, I did get this from Aldi as well. This was a good price. This is a pork tenderloin filet. I love these when I want a simple, straightforward meal. This was only like $4. But the biggest thing that I got, this huge 10 pound bag of chicken drums okay this is 10 pound bag and this was 5.99 from the meat market and as you can see right there 5.99 so you know that i'm not lying 
I also got some center cut or end cut uh, chop pork chops, and this was nine dollars and fifteen cents. And I also got some turkey necks. This is five pounds of turkey necks. If you've never seen that, these are pretty good as well. So this is a big overview of everything I got. I'm very satisfied with everything I paid for for $182. I'm very confident going forward with our new budget that I'm able to fill up our refrigerator. So if you have any recipe tips for any of the things I got, especially for like turkey necks and stuff like that, please comment that down below. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like this, please comment a brown heart down in the comments. So that way I know that you like this type of video so I can keep doing it. I also noticed that there are like other meat markets or other places I can try out as well to help with the savings because that's the goal. We want to save money in 2024. But that's going to be all for this video. Definitely love you guys. See you in the next one.